Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com. This is a follow-up video to a previous video on the topic of internet trolls. Um, people who pretend to be somebody they're not, or maybe they just sign up to a discussion group under an anonymous name. And there are a variety of reasons why people do this. It could be for commercial purposes, to promote a product or service. Uh, it might be to promote a website. And another category that I, I didn't cover in my previous video is the category of trolls who are out to just stir up trouble. They've got no particular goal or purpose other than just to, to create strife and discord. Um, they go on to discussion groups, and it may be a discussion group that's on the topic of politics or religion, right? So they're talking. Um, about the topic that the discussion board is designed to be for, right? So to that degree, they're not um, using the board or the discussion group in a way it wasn't intended for. However, they're not really adding constructively to the discussion. They're trying to stir up strife, trying to create fights and, and such. Um, and then, you know, the other category is somebody who joins a discussion group, let's say it's a discussion group on cars, and then pretty soon they're promoting some other agenda that has to do with politics or religion or whatever. Um, and so the question that uh, Sherman from Maryland writes about is, you know, how do you handle people like that? They're not exactly, um, hold on just a sec, I'm going to keep videotaping, follow me. So. Um, Anyway, you know, how do you handle a situation like that? You can't have an automated computer to block people. Um, how do you know if, you know, if somebody's joining your group to be a troll or not, or just to be an anonymous poster? I suppose one security method that could be put in place is to request um, something like a credit card number, maybe, so that, you know, if the same person tries to sign up again, you know, until they run out of credit cards, let's say two or three times, um, at some point you can block them, not just based on their name or the email address that they happen to use, but on a credit card number. You know, that would be one possibility. But if you require that, and people want anonymity, um, you know, you could cut back on some of the people who might otherwise join the discussion group if, if some people feel like, hey, I don't really want to be giving out my credit card number just to join the discussion group. But that would be uh, one suggestion for how to um, cut back on trolls and, and spammers and people who are out just to add malicious conversation to an otherwise um, enjoyable discussion. So anyway, I hope that helps and uh, answers the question in a little more depth. Take care.